Welcome all OET aspirants to our new video. We are speaking eaters. Thank you for all the support, we do appreciate that. Please continue to watch, support and subscribe our channel. Kindly subscribe, and click the bell icon, for more updates and videos. Please share with your friends. Our aim is to make speaking tasks more friendly, simplify them with providing lots of ideas, and you can develop them into beautiful structures. Today, we going to discuss, one of the latest OET role plays, pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccination. A 55 years old man, who has rheumatoid arthritis, is visiting a community health center, to get information about the pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccination. Let's begin with introduction and warm up session. Good morning, my name is Alfred Willey, I am the examiner for the OET exam, conducting on 18th of September, 2021. Can you say your name for record? Good morning, my name is Suni Pukulas. What is your candidate number please? My candidate number is 721567. And you're taking the test as a nurse, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Can I see your ID or passport please? Sure, here it is. Now, we moving to warm up sessions, they are not assessed, basically it's a chance to get each other's voices. In this part, I will ask you three to four questions before we move to role play. Are you ready Miss Martin? Yes, I am ready. Briefly explain me about a proud moment in your career as a nurse. There are multiple proud moments in my short career as a nurse. To select one is a difficult task. However, there is one moment I will never forget in my life. When I received my certificate, as a registered nurse. Because, it was my childhood ambition to become a nurse. How you deal with someone who isn't satisfied with your patient care? While I constantly strive to do everything I can for a patient, there are times when even that isn't good enough, and someone takes issue with my care. The first thing I have to be in that situation is to step back and really assess what's going on. Sometimes, even with all that, you find people who aren't happy with what you're doing. In those situations, I do my best to accommodate them without compromising their care. If it's a situation where I really can't fix the problem, then I work with the other nurses and doctors on my team to find an alternative solution. What are the different roles of a nurse, in your opinion? According to me, a nurse plays different roles in his profession. The main role of a nurse is caregiver, along with that, he can function as an advocate for the patient, mediator, or sometimes, as an educator for junior nurses. What do you find is the hardest part about being a nurse? I think the hardest thing I have had to deal with is feeling helpless. While it's my job to provide as much care and comfort as medically possible, there are times when you just can't do more. I am a nurse because I genuinely care about people and want to help, and when I can't, that's hard. Thank you, and thought's the end of warm-up session. Now, we are moving to roleplay. Here is your task, and you can take three minutes for preparation. Thank you. You see a 55-year-old man, Mr. Willie, who has rheumatoid arthritis. He is visiting to get information about the pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccination, which he has been recommended to have. Find out the reason for your visit. Provide details of the vaccine. Warn about possible side effects. Reassure and convince for vaccination. Good morning, please be seated. Thank you. My name is Suni Pukulas registered nurse working in this community health center. How can I address you? You can call me Willie. Hello Willie, how can I help you today? I have received a letter from your side to have a vaccine. I can't exactly remember the name of the vaccine. Well, do you have the letter with you? Yes, here it is. Oh, now I remember. We have sent the letter since you have rheumatoid arthritis. But, nurse, I don't think I need to have it. I completely understand your concern 
about this vaccination, but let me reassure you. In my experience, I have seen a lot of people who having rheumatoid arthritis taking this vaccine and they are absolutely fine. If you don't mind, can I explain why you need this vaccination? Sure nurse, please. First and foremost, the vaccine recommended for you is pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccination. In short, we can call PPV. The primary reason for advising this vaccine is rheumatoid arthritis patients are at high risk of pneumococcal infections due to compromised immune systems. At the same time, I would like to bring your attention about the importance of immunization against pneumococcal infections because these patients are vulnerable to disease conditions like pneumonia, septicemia and so on. Are you following me Mr. Willie? Yes, I am. Thank you for the clarity. But nurse, I always take the early flu vaccine and I was under the impression that it would be enough for the protection. I understand your perspective. However, we are talking about two different vaccine Mr. Willie. Two different vaccine? Yes. I will explain the difference. PPV is bacterial vaccine, and it remains same, it is only given on every three years. Whereas, flu vaccine is viral, and like you said, it is administered on yearly basis, for protection. Another vital difference is, in flu vaccine, the strain changes constantly, unlike in PPV. Is that clear to you? Indeed. Do you think? I will feel unwell after having the vaccination. That's a very good question. I appreciate that. After receiving the vaccine, there is a possibility of temporary mild side effects like swelling or redness at the injection site and mild temperature. Like I said, these are temporary if they are persisting or if you feel unwell. I suggest you to make an appointment with your general practitioner. Definitely. I will do so nurse, if needed. Miss Suni, I had my annual flu vaccination, two weeks ago. So, what's your opinion, on taking another vaccine now, or is it better, to wait for some time? Well, before I answer your doubt, I would like to ask you some questions, regarding your latest vaccination. May I? Sure nurse. Have you had any reaction to the flu vaccine like fatigue? fever spikes or any muscle aches? In fact, this time, no nurse, I felt fine after the flu vaccination and it didn't cause any problems at all. Good to hear that. Now, coming back to your question about the interval of vaccine. There is nothing to be alarmed about taking vaccine today as when you take PPV, there won't be any adverse reaction to flu vaccine. Along with that, Two weeks interval is good enough from earlier vaccine to administer this one. How does that sound? Comfortable nurse. Being said that, do you have any more concerns regarding vaccination? No nurse. In that case, are you ready for the dosage of PPV? Yes nurse. Thank you for agreeing. Right away, I am going to nursing station to prepare your injection, and I will be back soon. If you need any further clarity, here is a booklet, which contains detailed information about this vaccination. Thank you nurse. Thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you guys learned how to do a beautiful roleplay discussion. Please continue to watch and support our contents. Press like and subscribe button to show your support. Meanwhile, if you have any doubts or suggestions, please comment. See you in our next video. Bye, we are Speaking Aiders.